Et vous, la première fois, c'était à Las Vegas. Exactement. Face à Net Miller en 97. Et deuxième chance mondiale, deuxième défaite de Kalanga. Ouais. Après la défaite, il y a un petit peu you gotta de. You got to see the push, though. Las Vegas. Exactement. You got to see the push. Oui, vous avez eu le. Et vous, la première fois, c'était à Las Vegas. Exactement. Face à Net Miller en 97. Et deuxième chance mondiale, deuxième défaite de Kalanga. Ouais, Après la défaite, il y a un petit peu plus d'un an. Et puis celle-là, elle, elle, elle est un petit peu... Elle va être dure à digérer, je pense. Anywhere, Unier uh, toward Dorticos. WBA cruiserweight uh, 200 pound champion is going to be taking on uh, Marat Gassiev. Um, what is he? The um, IBF uh, cruiserweight champion this weekend. Um, not sure of the network. Is it going to be on ITV? Just regular I, I, free ITV, right? Instead of ITV box office. Anyway, I'm Tishtree Controversy. This is Tishtree Controversy Live. Um, he is the dark horse of the World Boxing Super Series tournament because. He does have so much power. Watch this. This was his last fight. I've got a chance to watch a nice amount of footage of him over the last several months. And dude's power is fight changing. And he can box. So when you when, when you factor in that, I think I, I think like how can he do against a um a Alexander Usyk, whose chin hasn't really been tested. Also, when it comes to Marat Gassiev, I think he may be able to beat him. This is a very big fight, but overall, the tournament is very big itself, and I'm just surprised, you know, that we still haven't been able to get a TV deal over here in the United States, and I know I'm saying it every single video, but I got to. This makes no sense, especially for us um, um, American media. How are we supposed to cover the fight legally? Without having to go through hell and high water on the internet to try to find some link or something that won't be lagging. You know, this is a big tournament, the biggest tournament of this era. When you think about it, it's um, $50 million spread across two divisions. It makes no sense. Anyway, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. All the links to my social media, as you can see, are popping right up at Fight View 360. Visit our website, FightView360.com, for the official boxing rankings. And let's go look at them right now. So, the winner of this tournament will be an undisputed champion. You have Miris Breedis, who was just defeated by WBO champion Usyk, Alexander Usyk. He now has the WBO and the WBC. I'm going to update these rankings in the next couple of um, couple of weeks. You have uh, Unier Dorticos taking on Marat Gassiev, so you'll have the IBF and the WBA. And then technically, there's still Dennis Liberdev out there, but that's a whole different you know can of worms. Anyway, the winner of Unier Dorticos versus uh, Marat Gassiev is going to go on and take on Alexander Usyk in May in um, Jeddah overseas. Well, at least overseas where I'm from, right? So you have guys like Tony Bellew, who's fighting David Hay in May, saying who that fight is also in May. He's saying that if he wins, he's not going to keep pursuing heavyweights, that he's going to go down and try to fight, go back down to cruiserweight and try to fight the winner of um, the tournament. And after all, the winner will be WBC champion, and he is the WBC mandatory, so technically he'll get first dips. The cruiserweight division has been really good because of this tournament, but then after this tournament, all these guys go back to normalcy or the division does, and you have to ask yourself, if Alexander Usyk does win, he's been talking about moving up in heavyweight, then yo, it'll leave guys like um, Christoph uh, Glowaski. We need to see more um, of um, Andrew... Um, um, Andrew Tabidi, a uh, Floyd Mayweather uh, promoter. Um, Masternak is still out there. He's kind of on a journeyman um, level. You got Dennis Lieberdev, and then, of course, you'll have all these guys, the top cruiserweights who would have lost to Usyk if he's the favorite to win, or Murad Gassiev or Unia Dortico. So you're going to ask yourself, well, whoever wins this fight is going to be at the top of the – I mean, whoever wins this this tournament – whether it's Dortikos, Gassiev, or Usyk, is going to be the number one cruiserweight and have all the belts. So you may ask, well, what will be the goal for them? Will it be to, you know, continue to defend, defend all their belts? Or will they move on to heavyweight and get likelier big fights 
and also have that um that status of saying, listen, I cleaned out my whole division. I had all the belts. Now, remember, in this Cruiserweight division, it'll be an undisputed champion, the first undisputed champion of this era. In this era, you have to have all four titles. That's the WBC, the WBA, even though the WBA is oldest, the IBF, and the WBO. You know, and and the last person to become undisputed was Terence Crawford when he defeated, defeated Julius and Dongo. And then before that was in 2005, if I'm correct, when um, Jermaine Taylor defeated Bernard Hopkins. You know, so being undisputed with four titles is a big deal and very difficult to do when you factor in the politics, the different managers, fighters get injured, failed drug tests and everything. So I'm very happy the way this tournament has turned out so far with, you know, nobody failing any drug tests, you know, no controversial decisions, you know, and also remember this tournament started in September. So these guys are having three fights from September to May. Now remember Canelo and Golovkin fought in in September and then they're fighting a rematch in May but yet when it comes to this tournament the winner of this tournament will have fight will have fought three fights in a nine month span it's crazy and you're making a shitload of money so for a guy like Junior Dorticos I'm going to root for him so for him to be able to come over here you know and try to um, well come you know um um into the mainstream boxing world and he's not in America you know, I think he's based out of Miami, but the point I'm trying to make is for him to come from Cuba and to be an undisputed champion like the storyline is behind him. Yeah, Alexander Usyk is the favorite to win, you know, but the storyline for this tournament, if a guy like him was to win with his background and to win all four belts and to win all of this money, you know, he'll go down as one of the greatest Cuban boxers of all time. Could you label him up there as far as like what he's doing for for, for Cuban boxing? You know, this guy should be having parades and shit and people rooting for him all over the world. But guess what? Here in America, we are not getting the fights televised. This tournament is significant and historic in so many levels. My God, Muhammad Ali was an American. <laughs> and we can't even watch his tournament here in the United States. That don't make no type of sense whatsoever. They got to get it together. And then somebody from, um, um, what was it? I'm trying to spread the word, spread the gospel, you know, like get on these people's asses about getting us a deal. For example, my colleague, um, uh, Rob Suarez over in Los Angeles has interviewed Richard Schaefer twice and been asking, like, what do you, you know, we got to get something, you know, going on. Richard Schaefer is a chairman or, or whatever for the uh, World Boxing Super Series. I don't know his exact title. I talked to the president of Showtime, Steven Espinosa, twice about the issue. The interviews are here on the channel. So I'm doing my part. And then yet I got um, companies from, from over there, you know, sending me copyrights, you know, for doing my job. Don't Like illegal copyrights, by the way. You know, or at least I feel they were illegal. It's still under investigation, you know, so I did appeal. But whatever the case may be, we need, you know, and also we need more American media members covering this fight and pushing forward, you know, television deals. For example, you have the biggest, you have the biggest channels on YouTube, right? The biggest boxing channels on YouTube, bigger than me. They not even talking about this tournament. What the hell is going on? I'm going off a bit of a rant, bit of a rant here. So, I am rooting for Unia Dorticos to beat Marat, Ma, Marat Gassiev. Marat Gassiev is the better fighter, but that power of Unia Dorticos is no joke. You know, let's go look at his resume. Let's go look at his resume. 22 and 0 with 21 KOs. 31 years old. Um, resides in Miami. You know, um, he's from Cuba. He's listed at 31 years old, but as we talk about Luis Ortiz and Rigadal, he's probably like 35. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just fucking around. You know, Marat Garcia. Basically, if you look at his um resume, there's no real names there that you may have heard of. You know, I've heard of these names. Of course, you know, we heard of Edison Miranda. This, this probably was Edison Miranda last fight. And remember, this is at Cruiserweight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was his. No, he had one more fight after this. You know, but. For the most part, for him to be in this tournament and get this type of opportunity with the lack of competition that he's fought, you know, it's crazy for him. This is a really big, big stage. Even if you go look at on their um on the World Boxing Super Series um Facebook page when they had the open workout overseas, this is a big tournament. The open workout in a mall or something, and it's just hundreds of people everywhere. 
And it's a shame because people are saying stuff like, oh, nobody cares about this tournament. Globally, this is a big tournament. You know, British versus Usyk was a very big fight. It's just over here. You know, I'm tired of it, man. We got to do something. We got to fight, you know, to at least get the finals. You know, we're three days away from this fight. Right now it's January the 31st, 2018, 8.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This fight's taking place on February the 3rd. This Saturday, it's Wednesday. It's taking place this Saturday. There's no TV deal in the States for to, to, to show this fight. Yeah, the World Boxing Super Series website and their YouTube page have been trying, but there's been, you know, technical issues. Let's see how it plays out. So this is what it's, this is what's going to happen. If they show the fight, you know, or if there's or if they decide to show it on the Facebook page. Now remember they geo block it, meaning that you're only allowed to watch it on their social media or on YouTube in certain countries or territories so if they say okay for americans you can watch it on the facebook page or on the youtube page or wherever i'm going to make sure that we post it on the website you know on our website fightview360.com and i'll also make i do make sure i do a video likely um after the um the weigh-in you know to talk about it. i'm tissue controversy this is tissue controversy live please subscribe